So, I think we've got pretty much everything from on the outside. Unless I'm missing something else. Everything related to the case, I think I've found. I don't think there'd be anything else, so I'll make my way back inside. Maybe have a chat with him. Actually, I'm gonna check the kitchen real quick. I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. Doesn't seem to be anything in here either. What? Wait, what's on the table? Incidental. Nothing. That's about it. I think I found everything, so I'll have a chat with him. For the record, Mr. Tarleton, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Right. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. Two AM, so I gotta remember that. Laundry label. Boot prints. That could be towards him too. Tire tracks could be, depending what kind of vehicle he's got. Ma laundry ledger. Oh, we took that with us. Matchbook. That'll be later. Victim's handbag. She never took it out. Money boots. So I'm just gonna say I doubt it. For the record, Terrence, did you kill your wife? Oh my god. This is No. I didn't kill my wife. Fuck you for suggesting it. That was not right. I should have believed him. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right. Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. He she was bored. But she didn't bring her handbag with her. I don't know what the ch oh, shit. Let me re listen to what it said again. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place. That's right. Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. Try this. When I call this Bobby Ross character and he tells me you're lying. Look, what do I have to do to convince you that I stayed at the party? Um What can I say? Muddy boots, I'd say. Tire tracks, boot prints, victim's handbag. I'm gonna say the muddy boots. I want to find who did this. I want to help. That's not right either. Fuck. I hate these ones. Should have doubted Mr. it. Mr. was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. How come there's nothing that says I found a picture? Oh wait, I'll just say doubt. Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30. Maybe a little earlier. Alright. Last contact with victim. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I 
played out my hand and drove home here. Paid the sitter and went to bed. He seems to be telling the truth. Do I have any accusation? I have the muddy boots. I'm gonna believe him. Why did you only report your wife missing this morning? I thought she would have called up last night from the bar. If I was Bobby Ross doesn't confirm your story, we are going to come back here and pick you up. This doesn't look good, Lars. We could break the husband's story right now. Call in. Get some uniforms dispatched to check out his alibi. Yeah, I'm going to call it in. Because I screwed it up pretty badly, so... Where's the phone? There it is. Operator, give me R&I. I asked... I did the wrong things. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? Can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thanks. Appreciate your time, sir. I totally fucked it up. I hate it when I do that, because then I'm going to end up screwing up this case, and I might not find the real killer. And that bugs me, because... Damn, I only got this guy's one story? question right. Kind of rings true. You won't let me help you. You just want to keep me awake, don't Let's you? Let's go to Barron's. I'm sick. What's your stocking? <laughs> Maybe we'll go, we'll go to the hobo camp after. Oh, now don't start with Gloria. For all we know, he could be uh, telling the truth. But then he would have admitted to something else. That's how this game works. God, you're gonna kill us! Oh, man, shut up. Alright. Whoops. <laughs> Baron's Bar. This is where she apparently went to before she... Well, we'll have to see what they say in here. Gents, drink? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. This is about Teresa Terrelson? Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. This guy seems pretty helpful. Last contact with the victim. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, 10.30, I think. He's telling the truth. On foot? In a car? By bus? How was it? She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure I did. I like Teresa. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about it. He wants a five-star goddamn wedding. Put out an APB on the cab. 3591. Should be traceable. Hmm. All right, cool. Vagrant male suspect. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here. But nothing to fit that description. I doubt it. The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Ben. All right, two creeps were all over her. Promising to take her dancing. You get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor. In uniform. His cap said, uh, USS Indiana. And the other man? The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. Oh. 
Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. He's telling the truth. The husband said she wanted to go dancing. And she always wants to dance when she's been drinking. She was trying to talk some guys into taking her to one of the dance halls. Thank you for your help, Mr. Fluff. We'll take it from here. Hey, no problem. This is Bates. That's him. LAPD. Don't make me chase you, shitbird. Oh my god, really? Can't let the son of a bitch get away. Again? Go, Bells, get after it. Oh, they gave the car to us. I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this Ford guy will pull corner. We could have a killer on our hands. That was not a good one. <laughs> I don't think the killer would be kicking back at the bar where it met the victim. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're stickers for your team. Watch out! Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Hit him, Cole. Spit him.